In tonight's Right Here, Right Now, March is Women's History Month, so we're featuring some interesting Baltimore women. Denise, of course, here to introduce us to the new artistic director at Baltimore Center Stage. Stephanie Ibarra is a Texan who most recently has been working in New York, but now she's here, one of the few women in this country running a major professional theater. Since the beginning of humans, we gather. It's what we do. We gather and we tell stories. You can't just stop like that. I gotta know what goes up above. We've been doing this for thousands and thousands of years. Stephanie Ibarra has been doing it for 20 years, now at Baltimore Center Stage. Baltimore is the first place ever that I see myself staying for as long as Baltimore will have me. <laughs> I love it here. There's so much appetite for adventure and new and progress, and yet change, any change, is hard. It's tricky. You and Sally live in the same womb. One of only four women of color running a major American theater, Stephanie identifies as Latinx. I use it, even though I identify as a woman, uh, I use X at the end of Latin in solidarity for um, the idea that gender is fluid. I'm taking off my pants, sir! And gender has been fluid in the plays she has chosen and in the way they've been cast this first season. What about women playing men's roles? I don't know. Who said they were men's roles to begin with? My father would always say, you walk straight even when the path isn't. The cast was male in Thoughts of a Colored Man, now headed to Broadway, but Stephanie is committed to creating opportunity for women on and off stage. I think the theater has a very long way to go in terms of its inclusion and acceptance of women. My invitation to those who have never been to Baltimore Center Stage, there is something palpably, markedly different about sitting in a room full of people and having the same experience of storytelling. Netflix can't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you two, there's the challenge. If you haven't been to center stage, the next play, Where We Stand, opens April 2nd. Get yourself there.